Hi, it's Danny here with another Tech Fix video, and in this video, I want to take a look at Scratch for Beginners. I want to show you how to make a very simple animation like this, where you move something around on the screen just using the arrow keys. So, a very simple introduction to some of the basics of Scratch. Here's how to do it. I've opened up Scratch. You can see the basic Scratch page here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of Scratch Cat. So, I'm going to click on the, the dustbin over here and delete the cat. And I'm going to click on the little cat icon here to choose a new sprite. So I'm going to just choose the hippo icon, here he is, click on the hippo, and that plays the hippo here. And I'll also put a background on as well, so I'm going to click down the bottom right corner down here, choose a backdrop, click on there, and let's choose a, a blue sky background. So I've got my hippo, what I need to do is to add some commands to look out for key presses and to make the hippo move depending on the key press. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure I've clicked on the hippo sprite, you can see here that's Hippo Sprite I'm adding commands to. Down here, I'm going to click on events and I'm going to find uh, when space key is pressed. Drag that one out here. I don't want it to be the space key, I want that to be the up arrow. So when the up arrow is pressed, something is going to happen. So what I'm going to look for there is then go to the motion blocks, scroll down and find change Y by drag that in. So the thing to remember about the, the scratch canvas here, so it uses coordinates X and Y the same way that you would do when you're drawing graphs, where 0, 0 is the dead centre of the screen and it goes, um, the X is going left and right, so from here X is 0 going up to 200 and from the centre going minus 200 if we go left and up and down is the Y coordinate, so up to 200, positive 200 is up here and negative 200 is down here. So if I'm clicking on the up arrow, I want to change Y by 10. I could change Y by 1, but that'd be very slow. So change Y by 10, that's going to move him up by 10. To check if this is working, I'm going to just click the up arrow and up he goes like that. What we can then do is add the other commands. So I'm going to go back to events. I'm going to choose when space key is pressed again, and I can change that to down arrow and again we can change Y by 10. In this case what we're going to do is change Y by minus 10 so that's going to go down and then same deal if I go into events and I'm going to drag out pressing key again let's speed things up I'm going to make that one when the left key is pressed and this one when the right key is pressed and the same for motion I'm going to go down to change X by 10 X by 10. I want right to be positive and I want left to be minus 10. So if I check that now, up, down, left, right. That's all pretty cool. A couple of the ni nice little tricks we can do. One is that maybe when I click the flag, I want everything to reset so it all goes back to the middle. So I'm going to click on events and so when the flag is clicked, I want to make sure that my hippo goes to zero, 0, so I'm just going to make that 0 and 0, so whenever I click the flag, hippo kind of resets back to the centre of the screen. Now one other thing we can also do with, with the hippo here, if you look on costumes, he actually has two different costumes where the wings are slightly different, so there's a, a flapping motion there. So what we can do, if I go into the looks um, button here, we can find costume commands. Now I can switch to a different costume. We don't need to worry about it. What you just need to do is next costume. Because every time I want him to move, I want him to toggle between one costume and the next. So if I just stick the next costume command onto each of these things here, when I then move him, you can see his wings are flapping. So if I just make that full screen, and let's see what we've got so far. So up, down, up, left, right we've got a flapping hippo. Very simple, we're just looking out for four key presses, plus I'll put the flag one in there just to reset it. You can obviously change that to be any kind of character. It's the starting point for a game basically where we're moving a character around the screen using the arrow keys. We could change this to be A and D being left and right and W and S being forwards and backwards. So if I want to make him move on an iPad, it's slightly different, so I'll do that on the next video. So thanks for your time. Do check back soon for, for more videos. Please like and subscribe if you want to be notified of those, and um, I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.